Does that amuse you? <laughs> oh, wait, Bill, I got something for you. <laughs> So, I thought that this week's bad movie roast would be perfect if I chose this certain film that fits with the theme of another movie that's at this point, I think it's safe to say, is a big hit. It's nice to meet you, Katie. Do you want to hang out? Is that a doll? Model 3 generative android, Megan for short. I can't believe you made this. Now, I enjoyed Megan very much. Enjoyed a lot, actually. I mean, it's not many movies out in January yet, so I think it's safe to say it's like one of my favorite movies <laughs> the best January. movie of, yeah. of 2023. Of 2023. <laughs> but as much as I love this movie, man, because it's a lot of fun. If you haven't seen it, it's a great way to crowd. If it's on video, rent it or buy it or watch it with some friends at home. It's a lot of fun, uh, as many of you probably know right now. But as much as I enjoy this movie, it is not original. It's uh, actually in a big category of movies that feature either, it's two categories where I can think of immediately, either killer creepy dolls or killer robots. Not just killer robots, but killer robots that were designed to, or AIs, mm -hmm. that were designed to be a friend, yes. you know. <laughs> Help, a, help out. Help a brother out. You know, <laughs> you know, you get you got a lonely kid, just get him this robot that could potentially like one day go crazy and kill everyone. <laughs> or it, it, it can save you from having to do your job as a parent. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> but I immediately thought of this movie from back in 1986, directed by Wes Craven. And I mentioned it in our review for Megan. And a lot of people went crazy and said, oh, I remember that movie. Oh, man, thank you for bringing that movie up. I love that movie back in the day, whether it be for nostalgic reasons or ironic reasons or you just have bad taste. Anyway, <laughs> the movie is Deadly Friend. If you found a friend. Brings you his most frightening creep. No, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. No. The director, director Freddy, you know? No. He's oh. No. <laughs> Sammy or BB, whatever it is, no, they ain't up there. They ain't, they ain't even up there with, uh, name the sorry, they ain't up there with Annabelle. <laughs> no. No, it's, it's just ridiculous. This is silly. Uh, silly is the word. Yeah, people, th listen, let me tell you, that is, that. so this was made, by Wes Craven, and there's a lot of reasons probably why we have the movie that we have right here. But the movie deals with, I guess, a, a kid genius who is uh, <laughs> who's built this robot, and one day the robot, because of doing something stupid, the robot gets killed. And while he's grieving over that, what do you know? His hot next door neighbor that he was actually about to have sex with at some point, she times out. We'll find out in a little bit how. So both his, his his best friend and his new piece of ass is dead. No, his new almost piece of he ass. Almost, yeah, almost. Almost. I mean, it was right there. It was, he could touch it. it was, he could taste it. He could taste it. <laughs> he, it was right there. It was slipped out his head. He, he looked at the phone right now talking about why? <laughs> why? Don't forsake me. Why? <laughs> Where is she? This couldn't have happened day after tomorrow. Yes, she's out, but hey. He found the the best of, the best of both worlds. He said, "I can bring back my my mechanical best friend and what could have been my potential girlfriend. I can bring them both back through my genius and my technology." I gotta give credit to the film because it is very entertaining. And now I'm probably not for the reasons as we always say that it was meant for, <laughs> but it is hilarious. This movie right here, it's 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 a movie that you keep checking to go like. You should have said in the comedy. Yes. Just if, if there's some place, somebody wink at me so I know that hey, that's not going to happen, is it? No. <laughs> like, oh, 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 I think you're doing something. Oh, my God. No. This used to come on when I was a kid. It used to come on HBO every night, man. I, I remember when I first saw it, I caught it right at the best scene in the movie and had to watch it. At, I was back the next night. HBO and I had a date the next night <laughs> so I could see the beginning of this. And I can definitely say as far as, you know, one of the nostalgic movies I used to watch as a kid, love it, love it for that, man. So when y'all started asking for it, just by me merely mentioning it, I I had to put it up here, man. 
So as we establish right now, uh, the word, the one word to describe this movie is silly. I, I, we could use some other words, ridiculous. Yeah, 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 ridiculous would also fit. Yeah, I would allow that. But I like silly. <laughs> ridiculous <laughs> means that you got some dignity, you know, a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> this is a bit of a misstep. Yeah, you yeah, got to get that ridiculous. Just, yeah. but, but silly implies that you're kind of like doing this on purpose. And I don't think that's what's going on. No. <laughs> Especially the more I've read about what this was supposed to be. Then words defy what's going on. Because this shit is, I mean, stupid. I don't know. Okay, stupid. <laughs> stupid, yeah. <laughs> A lot of the silliness in this movie is because the mood is all wrong. Like, I, I, and, and there's a there's about three or four different moods in this movie. You know, again, pick one. But they, you know, the the mood that they start out with uh, has a lot to do with the so called you know the the main antagonist eventually in the movie, the robot BB, which is the the, the <laughs> robot that. that well, I look at something like that. Look like something from Chuck E. Cheese. Or it sure does. does, man. It really does. But this oh, yeah. Sid Marty Croft. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they're sure. gonna squeeze an animal skin over it. Yeah, <laughs> but, fake ass. But but for right now, <laughs> boys, this rehearsal. This is out of a kid show, y'all. This has a lot to do with the, with with BB. BB is the robot that is built by the genius the, the kid in this movie, and um, he's, he's the problem is he's too cute. This is supposed to be a horror movie, and he's cute. I mean, even the movie cannot deny it. They got a car thief breaking into cars at the beginning of the movie. He breaks into BB's car, the car that BB's in, and he has, <laughs> man, he's, he stops his crime to look at him and be like, oh, ain't you cute? Hey, you're kind of cute. Say cute again, bitch. Yeah, yeah, caught the slipper, didn't I? Yeah. 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 He's yeah. like, so oh, goddamn. Yeah. <laughs> See his face, too? Yeah, that's one of his trigger words. <laughs> no, he did. He was like, <laughs> uh <-huh. laughs> My man surprised, too. He was like, oh, shit. shit. What I, what I say? I what up. I say? I was a compliment. I mean, even when he. Shit, he gets chased away from the car. He's not even scared about the car. He's still confused about this robot that tried to choke his ass out. Oh, shit. He's like, he's like, wait a minute. <laughs> Nobody see that? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> He's like, look at him. I can't believe it, can't he? He's confused. Look at him. He's like, well, oh, I, don't, I don't get it. He was, he was so cute. <laughs> Boy, the, 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 yeah, the, and by the way, the acting is terrible. Oh, my God. I mean, he's looking around. Look at him. Like, <laughs> across the board, the acting yeah. is terrible. I know like, with that look, though. Like, <laughs> in the beginning. Yeah. Aye, 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 aye. <laughs> Well, look. Yuck it, yuck it. Like a bulldog. <laughs> so, yuck, yuck, yuck. it's kind of opening. You're like, how is this a horror movie? Like, oh, <laughs> <yeah. laughs> oh, I don't believe it. It's on board now. <laughs> so, this is 86. Now, keep in mind, y'all, even in 86, we're still, we're kind of on the cusp. You know, we're leaving out of the E.T. effect. You know, the E.T., the extraterrestrial. E.T. was such a mega hit that all these movies were trying to find ways to put a cute sidekick in things, a cute mascot. And for some reason, at that point, uh, robots, cute yeah. robots were just a thing, too. Oh. Number five is Uh, perverted robots too. Mm -hmm. uh, every one of those is always like, oh, nice titties. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. What was that Short Circuit? Short Circuit. Yeah. That was Short Circuit, which came out the same year. Actually, came out about three or four months before mm. this movie came out. Uh, so, probably one of the reasons why that this movie was so was so uh, bad and confusing and all over the place. Um, so your boy. Uh, Wes Craven, Wes Craven was going through a bad one in his life at the time. Wes Craven had several things going on in his life that were just unfortunate. Um, I was supposed to direct um, Superman 4. I was at an interview with Christopher Reeves and he said, Wes Craven will never direct my film when I was being sued. And I, I was not at that time covered by the errors and omission policy. And he was getting divorced. His marriage was a sham. He got dropped from two films. One of them, Superman himself said, you will never direct a Superman <laughs> yeah. movie. And we saw how great that last <laughs> movie came out, Quest for right. Peace. Uh, 
he was also being sued because somebody thought that he had stolen a Nightmare on Elm Street. The script for the it. The script yeah. for it. So, and yeah. he said he was so different. He's like, I can't even believe I was being sued by, before. You know, he said my script was so different than the one. Yeah. Ever, yeah. yeah. And that they would just <clears throat> let him twist in the wind with no help. Exactly. They weren't yeah. even helping him out, man. And kicked off a of Beetlejuice. Yeah, and kicked off a of Beetlejuice. Now, as far as the, it was, so he probably wasn't, you know, all there mentally at the time when he's making this movie, but. <laughs> He wasn't present here. <laughs> yeah, he's, yeah, he was a lot. He had a yeah. lot more pressing issues going on other than Deadly Friend, I'm sure, even though he was directing the movie. But mainly, though, if you want to talk about this mood, how you starting out with a robot so cute and then ends up being this you know wacky-ass horror movie? Uh, and this is probably what you heard. So it was originally supposed to be a PG movie. It was supposed to be a PG movie about uh, two teenagers who fall in love. And then, you know, the things are complicated with this robot, but it's never supposed to go to the level that this was. Mm -hmm. He had actually been influenced by the movie Starman, Wes Craven, mm -hmm. because Starman is directed by uh, John Carpenter. Mm -hmm. And John Carpenter made this, proving that he was more than just a horror director or, you know, this crazy sci-fi director who, you know, did like violent uh, science fiction films. You know, he actually had a lot of success with this to the point where I think- That was Jeff, huge. Yeah, Jeff Bridges, Jeff Bridges was nominated right. for uh, an yeah, Oscar. Oscar. Yeah, yeah. So Wes Craven, this Deadly Friend was supposed to be his star man at the uh, time. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. yeah and, and it's it, more of a falling star man. Yeah. What happened? Well, they listened to a focus group too hard or, or early screening too hard. They invited Wes Craven fans in to watch the movie. And the Wes Craven fans, Wes Craven fans were actually looking like this dude right here. They, they, they were like, what am I watching? They, like, they were like, where, where's the where's the violence? You know, it's Wes Craven. Where's the blood? Where's the gore? So they took this movie that was supposed to be, you know, this friendly, family friendly PG-13 film uh, featuring this cute robot named BB. And they went back and added. Yeah, made him, made him do reshoots. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah, like he's like, hey, put put some put some. You know, we need to West Craven this up, and he did. He shot one scene, and they were like, ooh, yes, that more of that. But reshoot and put a bunch of more of that oh, in here. The, the, but the thing that's funny to me is, even if you take out the the horror stuff, just the drama itself, I was like. This is laughable. Yeah. This, well, there's it, no way this was going to be good. Well, it might have worked better as a, it could have worked better maybe as a, as a, as a, as a family film or, oh, you know, or maybe not good, but not, it probably would have worked better. It would have worked better, but it still would have been good. It still has all the, the aesthetics of an after school special. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I tell you, they, they pushed him so hard to make this movie gory and violent that they almost gave it a rated X. Oh really? Damn, BB the robot. This <laughs> this cute ass robot over here, man. Hey, those are the ones you gotta watch. He was the one. He he almost got that that cute ass robot right there. Almost got a rated X. He was almost pornography. Yep. <laughs> he's, he's looking at me. He's like, I would tell you that. Yeah, stuff exactly. Too. Oh boy, you don't even know. You don't even know the half. Yeah, man. <laughs> oh, see, every time I do that, I make a joke. And you're like, hey, hey, hey easy. Yeah, boy. Yeah, like, you're like, oh, oh shit. You, you don't even know the half, Billy Brooks. I don't want that to be the truth, though. You don't know Billy Brooks. <laughs> you don't even know the half of it. Maybe he has a dark side. Yeah, he does. And it, it doesn't take long to start to see it. But, man, so here's the thing. It, see, this, look, that whole thing, going back and refilming, trying to put all that gore and violence in there, doesn't work at all. Because you started out with a PG movie. You started out, not, not, and I'm going to say you didn't even start out with a, you, you with a with a PG movie. You started out with a kid's film. Mm -hmm. I mean, what's this? I mean, to the point where it's comical. They, you know, uh, when it opens up, BB just keeps making noises and just constantly saying his name just in the backseat. BB. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you doing there, BB? <laughs> and then they get to a point where, all right, because that, that's kind of actually kind of creepy. So I can people like I can see how I could be scared of BB if it's sound like he's demonic and shit. Yeah, it's his, his like POV too. Yeah, Sorry. he's that a weird POV. He's on a set band. It sound like the Tasmanian devil. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. BB. But it gets to a point where BB just starts making he starts making cute noises. Man, they turn the car and he's like, oh. Who's right. drunk ass is driving that fucking that's true. that's true. That's not even a roundabout. Yeah. Dude, well, she was about to hit that pole. Yeah. She was about to knock that light out. Yeah, BB's like, yo, slow down, yeah, bitch. Yeah, that's what, watch the road. Shit, like BB's there. He got that right. I'm talking about, whoa, yeah. I'm about to die. 
But when you see BB for the for, for the first time, like I said, if this was a kids movie, perfect. Ain't nobody got a problem with BB at all. But for a horror movie, this shit is. Pick your word. Silly, ridiculous, stupid, goofy. Hey, you know what? Take them all, man. Come on, out of the van. And you know what? And the more they show, the more they show BB, the more you start to wonder. I, you know, you were built by a genius, but are you mentally challenged? <laughs> That's what I was thinking the whole time. I mean, I guess there's only so much you could do in 1986. Yeah, because BB just, I, what 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 does BB do? <laughs> BB don't do a damn to no. BB. Because BB, once you get him out, he just like spinning around and shit. It is one when when the kid, I forgot his name, when he he opens BB up to go like, oh, wait, hold on, hold on, hold on. I got oh, that clip. Oh, okay. yeah, but they got, yeah, they got this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, BB ain't getting out. He's like, what the f did you build this for, man? No. What does it do? He ain't doing that. He ain't doing Dude, what the <laughs> fuck? <laughs> he's, like, he's like, look, I didn't program for all this bullshit. <laughs> look, at him, look at him, like, <laughs> like oh, he's broke again. He's cute. He's, he's learning. Yeah, that's that is true. I guess true. he's trying to be, a, he's trying to, to learn. Oh, look at the bicycle. I learned what that is. I'm pushing mute on this motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> and then, you know, but, but then, they, then they open them up and you see the insides. I developed a basic program. Then he sort of makes up his own mind after that. And this shit's a toaster oven. Yeah, I was gonna say, look at that. It's a toaster oven full of junk from Radio Shack. Yeah, yeah. That shit, that I, don't make no sense I, at all. I laughed. That was the first thing I laughed so hard. <laughs> when he opened it up, I was like, man, y'all can't even do this. I was like, halfway convinced. Yeah, that. right. It's just a bunch of pistons and rotors. They don't just mean shit. Threw wires in there. Yeah. It's goddamn easy bake oven with these wires and random poles and it's shit like, and gears up in here. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, but then he's like, you tear up the old computers back in the day. Now he's like, ooh, look at this yeah. mainframe. All, all, all this. <laughs> in one little circuit board. <laughs> yeah. And, 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 you know, I say it's like a kid's movie. No, it's a kid's movie. Okay, oh, that's the problem. Yeah. It's a kid's movie when it starts out. If, here's, here's how I can, I can prove to you it's a kid's movie and changes into something it shouldn't. So if you, if you started watching this at a certain time and you put your kid in front of the screen, you would think it's okay to leave your kids there and watch it alone. Like, you can leave the room and think that, you know what? They're going to be all right with old BB right here. Mm -hmm. BB is going to treat them good. I ain't got to worry about BB, old BB being offensive right now. The only thing you got to worry about is them asking you to buy them one. Yeah, exactly. Right. But BB on, but, but, but BB's pretty family safe. In fact, the, because the movie plays out. I mean, even the way they play with film and everything, it's like a kid's movie. I told him to charge before we left. Oh, shit, I <laughs> <laughs> He's got a little old jerky ass yeah. camera boy. Yeah. Hey, you don't let his speed up. It's bad enough, yeah? Time to charge before we left. Oh, that's the other one. I mean, that was so fake. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> so bad. Come on, Wes. I know the shit was going bad, man. I mean, really, if you just turn the channel to this. And didn't know what channel you were on, you would think you're, you're in the Disney Channel. Yeah. You would think that you're at a very safe place for the kids. They got their BB out there mowing the lawn. <laughs> singing. He's lawn, by the yeah. way. I can tell you that right now. Yeah, singing. <laughs> even the even the new best friend, Paul is the main character in the movie. He's a genius kid that moves and just moved into the neighborhood. And uh he meets a new friend of his. Even the even the new best friend is introduced like the the, the wacky neighbor. Oh. <laughs> oh, thank you so much. Is that fall? I, I had to replay that fall yeah. several times. <laughs> Whoa. I was like, you did that shit on purpose because you can't accidentally fall like that. No, remember we went over the handlebars in slow motion. In slow motion. In slow motion and the camera wouldn't even go in slow motion. He, yeah, no. he was like, did yeah, anybody see that? And landed right on his big ass head. <laughs> like, I'm the wacky neighbor. And like, look, you just want to in introduce yourself right. to the guy. Just walk up and say, hey, I live over across the street. Yeah, you ain't no. got to make a big presentation. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he's got social anxiety. Yeah. And like the fourth time he rolled by, yeah. he's like, he gonna say something to me. Yeah, he's playing yeah, yeah. All right, goddamn, you gonna notice me. Yeah. <laughs> 
something cool right here. This is uh, Christy Swanson. Yeah, yeah. And she's 16 years old. This is her first movie right here right. ever. And, uh, and, and, you know, even when uh, Paul, Jeez. and some of y'all might even know Paul. Paul, for people our age, Paul was in a show called, uh, and I forgot the actor's name, but he was in Little House on the Prairie. Was mm. he? Yeah, was and he, he was in another movie called, uh, another show called Wiz Kids back in, he was like, he was kind of the it guy back oh, wow. in the day. Because I, I read that after he did this, he never acted in another live action. He moved movie. on to doing uh, uh, voice work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Chris yeah. Swanson didn't stop in the 80s after this. No. I mean, they put her in every goddamn yeah. thing. Oh, but yeah. this is Chrissy Swanson's first uh, movie. And even the meeting between uh, those two is, is you know, there's little things in there that starts to go into dark territory now. But even still, it's kind of cute. Enough for a PG rated family film. He likes you. Mm. <laughs> He's cute. My name's Sam. Yeah, I love the way BB back there. BB like shit. Yeah. You know what? You better watch your ass. Yeah, right. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna be on that ass. Yeah, yeah, exactly. If you don't hit that, I am yeah. going to. Yeah, you said Paul. You better watch your back because one slip, <laughs> BB is on that ass. <laughs> yeah, Paul, go ahead and go to the motion and introduce yourself. Yeah. That's mine right there, boy. <laughs> you see, we, you it's up like you always. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, you see, BB over there. He weak into it. Yeah, yeah. 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 And I'll be yeah. right here to scoop. I'm right here to scoop it up. Yeah, mess yeah. It up. You need to leave that alone over there. Come yeah. on, let BB put that thing on you. Give it that zero. I like you. Yeah. What's up, girl? My name's Sam. Now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, BB. Yeah, it BB. Matter, you better watch your back, yeah. bro. Now, uh, <laughs> so this is where you you know you watch this and you're like, cool. This is family safe right here. I can leave the room and know that my kids are in fine hands with BB, Paul, the wacky neighbor, and Sam. Uh, but the moment you leave that room, then they pull some shit like this. Hey, what do you know about uh, people who live next door to me? Sam? Yeah. Great tits. <laughs> You're telling me. <laughs> Damn. Yeah, I, yeah, I, Paul, I like Paul. Paul is like, shit, I already took inventory when I came up here. <laughs> Boy, you're telling me, pal. Though it don't seem like it, this eventually will be a horror film. <laughs> you know, not, not that it should be, but eventually it will be, which means that people are going to die. They have to. It's a horror movie. And uh, what I love about, okay, so this is what I do love about this being a horror movie, is that early on, since people got to die, BB early in the movie, he starts making a list. Yeah, you got to go. You got to go. Damn. Starts out with uh, starts out with this woman you might have seen before. You ever seen Throw Mama from the Train or the yep. Goonies? They got the, the they got the, the the cranky neighbor or the mean neighbor, Miss Parker, uh, who who just Parker? loves pointing that shotgun at people, man, for no reason, just randomly doing it. Jesus, he said that's not here. Blow your heads off for just standing outside the fence. Boy, that's the proto Karen right there. No yep. kidding. BB saw that, pointing that gun at my friends. Yeah, you you just sure. made the list. And then, uh, the oh, ooh. He, boy, you could tell he was horny for Sam because uh, he, uh -oh. he does, he does, uh, he oh, does. Oh, shit. <laughs> he, he, does, <laughs> he does not like, he does not like the fa her, her father, man. At well, all. Nobody. Nobody likes a father, but but BB really hates that dude. Did he even come over now? Uh, no, I can't. Not right now. Uh, He's like that. Dead. <laughs> yep. He said, you you just made the you list. You made the list to you, number two. You just made the list, sir. He ain't done nothing yet. <laughs> but, you know, he opened the door you, like that. Listen, yeah, man, you see the way he opened the door. Yeah, he opened the door. Did you see the way he opened the door? Yeah, 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 look at this. Yeah, you can't open the door like that, yeah, man. That's BB your ass. Said, yeah, yeah, yeah. I know what you're BB said, don't take a goddamn genius or a robot to recognize that dude is creepy as <laughs> Yeah, the way he opened that door. Yeah. And I can't, I can't decide who he hates the most, man. I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know if it's Dad or Miss Parker because he growled at Dad, but he made a special point to say, you know what, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna make sure, I'm gonna mark this house right here to know that I gotta get back and kill Miss Parker. Baby, shut that thing away from my gate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 He's gonna be a target he right there. Yeah. Yeah. He took an image of her. <laughs> screenshot. He took a screenshot of her. <laughs> and then that wasn't enough. He, he memorized her 
And that wasn't enough to do that. The moment she went inside, he said, let me go back and get it. Just so I know which house it is. Yeah. Let me go get a, <laughs> I don't make no let me get a shot of the house right here. Yeah, that'd be uh -oh. dead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah right. Special vision. Yeah. What you read? Murder vision. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the neighborhood bullet slash motorcycle gang. Of you got, course. Of course, yeah. <laughs> You got the you got the risky business gang out here. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say with jeans, jeans that don't fit. Yeah, shades on. He yeah. got the mom jeans yeah. on. Yeah. 1986 and a, a 50s biker gang. Yeah, I know. And they all fits. and they all riding uh, uh, motorbikes and shit. <laughs> they like some bitches. Yeah, they all riding dirt bikes around here and shit. And of course they, you know, and they and what they do what bullies do in these movies. They just ride around the neighborhood, just randomly looking for people to beat up. It don't matter if they know them at all or, or not. Oh, hey. Yeah, oh, you just made the list. Yep. yep. And 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 I like the way BB said, you know what? Yeah, you on the list, but I'm getting mine now. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> yeah. 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 You made the list, but I'm gonna get a little bit now. I'll probably be here. Probably been close too. Yeah. Like, now what was that shit you yeah. said? Yeah, yeah. No, no, say it again. I, I, like, I didn't hear you first. He time. got him in his face, like, I will kill you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> now get the I, I was gonna wait, but I made you my little yeah. special prize. We yeah. couldn't wait. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, I'm hungry now. And I think the gang member, the gang leader, is the one that, that he hates the most because he chased his ass down the street. I'll get you out of here. <laughs> get me now. Where, yeah, where, yeah. You going? where you going, man? <laughs> you, we we yeah. just get started. <laughs> None of these people are good people and probably deserve to die. Uh, but I can see why at least one of them hates these kids. I can see why Miss Parker hates these kids because these kids are assholes. And they going around messing with people's stuff like uh, on uh, Halloween. They just going around putting shaving cream and foam on cars that are not theirs. And laughing right in front of right. people's front yeah. yards and everything. Uh, but the, but Miss Parker, I can see why they hate them because they really love to f Miss Parker. Miss Parker points that shotgun at them. And, I, and that must be the thrill because they will not leave her alone, man. They, <laughs> they mess with her, but it's not just that shotgun. She, she got something for that. She is prepared for them. <laughs> Run. <laughs> yeah, well, Jesus. The alarm system is so good, it makes trespassers go insane. Right, you just right seizure. down the spot. <laughs> yeah, it gets a bunch of Yeah, yeah, seizure. Yeah, yeah she's <laughs> bleeding from the ear. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, turn, turn into Rain Man and shit. Yeah. Like when the, alarm, <laughs> the smoke alarm went off. Yeah. <laughs> what could they do? Stop. Yeah. Oh, and BB. BB deserves what he gets because because BB he said like really gets to a point where BB says you know what the hell with this list I'm getting mine he said this bitch dies tonight. BB like shit. I thought you I thought you said shit for shit. I thought you said shit never shot nobody. Yeah, you lying motherfucker. Yeah, BB like. Uh, <laughs> BB like is it, he like in a Vietnam movie or something? Shit! Shit! Just crash him! Put it back in! Yeah! Oh, and Miss Park ain't done yet! <laughs> oh, shit! <laughs> BB has got to be the dumbest robot I've seen, man, run up on this one with a shotgun. Hey, man. He Around, yeah. he found out. Yeah, yeah, come up there with them crab claws. <laughs> Bitch, come here, you died in a. He was bold. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, all right, let's just leave. She ain't gonna oh, give us our ball yeah. back. He's like, no, nah, I'm getting that ball. <laughs> she ain't gonna do a goddamn thing. <laughs> ain't cruised up there. <laughs> We're like, roll slow. He looking down to it. Ha ha, damn. Oh, I bet you gonna do it again. No! <laughs> I gotta tell you. Miss <laughs> Parker is the crankiest woman in the neighborhood, but that night she was the happiest woman mm -hmm. ever on the planet, boy, when she <laughs> rolled by the, and she looked back at the kids and said, I see you over there in the bushes. I got something for your ass too. Come on out. <laughs> She's like, yeah, I see yeah. you. Uh -huh. <laughs>
shit right there, right? Yeah, she like, yeah, yeah, come yeah. get your shit. Yeah, <laughs> come get your shit. Yeah, come on in. Yeah, you know? I'm clean this shit off my yard. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to leave the door unlocked. Yeah. Go ahead. Come on in. I yeah. got some for your ass. Yeah, who, who else wants some? Come get your shit. What? Yeah. Now, that is the first tragedy uh, in the movie that's leading to the big events that go to the heart part of this film. Uh, the, <laughs> On the, the back? Yeah. The, now, the second is no surprise right here. Uh, because when Sam, and we've seen it, we saw, you know, we saw how, you know, dad looked when he was all creepy shutting that door and opening that door. No. So we can all tell that, you know, this is a bad situation, this bad situation with her and, uh, and her dad. Um, but uh, she starts hanging out with Paul and Paul's mom, who's hot, by the way. Yeah, right? Yeah. Um, but. Oh, the brunette lady? No. What, oh, yeah, yeah. Mom, yeah, yeah. 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 No, I've seen her on Law and Order. She's fine. Oh, Law School Law and Order. She's fine. Yeah. Fine as hell, man. But she spent a lot of time with them because, you know, she got the hots for Paul. Uh, and of course, Pops ain't taking it too well, man. Uh, when when she spent a whole lot of time over there, like I, they never say that he's raping her. But I mean, but, it, but it must be much. that door uh, opening. Yeah, yeah, that was, yeah, that was yeah, right yeah, there. Exactly. I was I was like, that's I, mean, I rape my daughter. Yeah, door they, they, they will only commit to that. He's abusing her. But, you know, it's more than that. Oh, the, you the way she is. Well, the way he's just upset when she leaves the house. Mm -hmm. It's like, like he's dang, jealous. Just, and yeah, shit. Just, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, it seems like he's yeah. jealous. Like he's, he's gone past being protective. Right. Like he's no, he's jealous. Like that's my ass. To the point where when she stays gone too long, he hides and he hides in closets waiting on her to get back so he can jump out and do spook house shit. Jesus! Whoa. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with you? And how long you been in there? All day. <laughs> yeah. Wait for your ass. Wait, right. man, you've been watching me from the blinds the yeah, whole time right. I was gone. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, now, like I said, it got to be that he's raping her because what else is driving him so crazy? But her leaving the house, it makes him so insane that, of course, gets to the point where you know that abuse is going to actually lead to him eventually killing her. Now, got her unconscious, and at that point, you know, I mean, listen, we got nothing more of the movie to go, so I'm figuring she's not dead, and plus, she must not be dead, because dad is still yelling at her ass for some reason. Okay, come on now. She sees it. <laughs> you ain't, you ain't dead. You ain't hurt. Please, get your ass up. You ain't hurt. You just faking it. Oh, oh, now you having seizures, huh? Yeah. Again. Well, you know, she, she must be because you know she did hit that cardboard ass wall. When she went <laughs> no, down. Yeah. You see that wall, man? Move the whole wall, move, but she hit it. B vibrating and shit. Yeah. <laughs> what a set. What a set. Yeah, yeah. Oh, 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 I told you. I the house yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> like when she wouldn't get up, he's like, oh, shit. Oh, the thing is, head. I don't know why he's worried about anything because he ain't nobody coming out to arrest him. Because he, man, look, if anybody going to be a suspect is him. For one, he ain't got no emotions about her being comatose, man. Like they go and do some brain surgery on her because, you know, something rattled her brain and she's paralyzed now and in a coma. And, uh, and right when the moment, like it's when it's like, when it's when not even the time, just when it's close, he's like, you know, go on, pull that plug, man. <laughs> Cause of course he don't, he don't want nobody ratting on his ass saying, yeah, I knocked right. the ass down the steps. It's not nine o'clock yet. We should just do it. He's like, he's God, like, God, God damn. You ain't, it, well, it, you it, ain't got no emotions about this at all. I mean, the way he said it, well, you should just do it. And the funny thing is, I mean, if anybody should be a suspect, is him. Right. right. Like, I mean, even the rest of the doctors are like, man, I, I don't think that this is cool. I think this is foul play. We're so full. Looks like more than a fall to me. Shut up and do your job. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, who Can I ask you? Hey, 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 who, hey, the chief surgeon, I, I I keep thinking it's me, but is it you? Yeah, I'm about to ask you a goddamn <laughs> like, thing. Oh, thank you, doctor, always trying to say some shit at the wrong time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> MD. <laughs> Paul is in great emotional pain because she does, they, they do end up pulling the plug. And Paul is in great emotional pain. But as you saw in the movie, Paul got a plan. And he's a genius. And he's a genius. Not smart enough to sign up for better help though. You know, uh, <laughs> <laughs> people, this section of the show is sponsored by better help. And if you're in emotional pain, before you go off and make a killer robot that kills out the people in the neighborhood, you talk to someone.
you know, do, do yourself a favor. Can and everybody that? else. What's that? Can I do it after? Can do, yeah, <laughs> but only if they recommend that you do. Okay. <laughs> and listen, it sounds like we're joking people who are making them, you know, light of therapy. We're not. You know, we we have a way to bring this in where it is lighthearted and gets people into it. But of course, therapy is serious. And if you're going through it for anything, anything, then please seek help, get therapy, talk to somebody, anybody. But a good place to start is better help. I mean, listen, is your mind just cluttered with thoughts? I mean, did, would you perform better at your job or your task or in life if you just decluttered your brain, unload and talk to someone? If you want more empowerment out of life, you want to get your mind straight, as I said, you just kind of want to unclutter. And you know what? Go over to betterhelp.com slash double toasted because I'm going to help you get 10% off your first month. I want to thank BetterHelp for sponsoring this portion of the show. And as always, I want to thank you out there for your help and support. Well, I told you mom was fine as hell. There she is right there. Yep, yeah, she sure yeah, is. Yeah, I thought that was his sister or something when he drove up. But uh, Damn, there she is. as I said, Paul does have a plan. Part of that plan is doping his mother up and knocking her out. Like, that's some good shit, whatever Paul gave me. She, she was already like, damn. She wasn't sure what to do with herself. Yeah. She, she like drugged me again. <laughs> she fell over like a dummy. <laughs> she sure did. Yeah, yeah. He not, the reason why he knocked mom out because the plan is to beat the clock before they can actually pull the plug on Samantha, who's you know considered to be brain dead at this moment. She's just on an oxygen tank now. Uh, but they gotta get there in time. Fortunately, Paul works at the hospital and it's a race against time. And you can tell it's urgent because when he goes to the hospital, he uh, hits a trash can on his way there. <laughs> <laughs> Knock that trash can around. Right nothing, nothing says urgent like that. Yep. And they, when they get the body, you know, they do the old, uh, the old uh, dirty laundry uh, uh, trick, but they just put something. <laughs> never fails. It never fails. Oh, take it out laundry, huh? Yeah, you know when you walk out with that dirty laundry bin, right? Yeah, no, yeah. no one ever asks what's in it. Yeah, well, you well, you run out with the dirty laundry bin. <laughs> yeah, you run out with even running. Yeah, like nobody rushes with dirty laundry no. like that. Nothing has to be cleaned that quick. You're right. At eleven o'clock at night by two people. Yeah, <laughs> by the two kids. Yeah, yeah. But I will tell you, uh, Paul is very thorough though. You know, he's 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 very careful to the point where he hits the same trash can on his way up. <laughs> <laughs> the trash can is like, what did I do to you? Yeah, yeah that, exactly. What did that trash can do? I bet that trash can had it coming. Him to hit it twice. Yeah. <laughs> he that, he's like, twice. I'm coming back on the way out. You know, right? The trash can's like, all right, goddammit, man. That's enough. <laughs> Are we even? Yeah. Paul is not one to give up. Paul says, well, listen, like I said, I'm going to. I'm going to combine the best of both worlds. I'm bringing back my my best friend and I'm bringing back my potential girlfriend. All I got to do is this uh this just simple medical procedure of taking the the brain microchip out of BB and putting that shit inside of uh Sam's dead brain. Perfect. <laughs> All right, what's BB's brain? Because Paul obviously has surgical equipment just lying around <laughs> his room and right. all. And he, he not only knows robotics, he knows all about brain, brain surgery. surgery. He's, a, he's a genius. He's a genius. That's you, what see his, you see his friend like this? The f you doing, yeah. man? <laughs> oh, his friend is like that the whole thing. The whole thing. <laughs> his, friend is, his friend actually the one that has the most sense. His friend's like, man, what the f going on? And his friend started out as a stupid one, but the more it went on, the more it's like, no, listen to him. Yeah, no, he's the one that's like, man, I don't feel right about this. <laughs> Now, he's like, like, look, I'm not as smart as you, but yeah, this shit seems this wrong. illegal. Yeah, yeah, this is wrong. Yeah, wrong. I'm it's immoral and illegal. Look, man, I'm not as smart as you, yeah. but I know yeah. when I yeah. see it. Listen, I'm just the wacky neighbor that falls over my back every day, <laughs> but, but I know wrong when I see it. At, 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 at first, when he puts his brain in, it, <laughs> brain chip, <laughs> this microchip in there, you just, of hey, course. seriously, y'all, 
Samantha's real easy. Samantha's just plug and play. Uh, you know, yeah. you just put it in. Yeah, that's it. You put it in and she's ready to go. Flick well, that you switch. Know, you you got to figure it. She ain't going to get no debtor. No, <laughs> yeah. that is true. That's true. I mean, well, we got to lose. Yeah, got nothing to lose. True. It's not like we're going to kill her again. Jesus. So what What? What Paul has essentially done, he he didn't. He did not, as anybody can tell you, like you dead and you're putting a robot, a BB, his brain up in here. That's not going to be the same chick. No. But, but what he did was he actually did he created the thing that most incels and sexists and perverts would love, would actually enjoy. Uh, oh. A remote control girlfriend, man. You're like, shit. shit. The, <laughs> the, whoa, the things I can do. <laughs> Pretty much, I mean, if you want to go that route, it's the it's the world's it's the world's most lifelike sex doll. Mm -hmm. If you want to go down that route, which I wouldn't put it past him at a certain point, right. because this dude just loses his shit throughout the movie. He goes crazy. He's supposed to be the hero. <laughs> I will give this to the movie. The hero, who was Paul, goes just descends into darkness mm -hmm. as the movie goes on. I did like that about him. So when when Sam comes back, you know, she she can she can barely walk, and then when she does start getting up and moving around, all she does is pretty much just do the robot dance all day. <laughs> Oh. I mean, she got some moves, you know, yeah, but, yeah. I, but, that, but, you know, what else can you do? I, I, I'm sorry. I just couldn't stop laughing at her Vulcan lip balm. Yeah, ball. yeah. I know. And some damn crab Vulcan. claws she got yeah. down there. <laughs> Paul makes the mistake of letting her ass walk to the window and she sees dad over there. Oh, yeah. And you know, dad, dad that raped and killed her. And she's, and, and then she says, no, that got to go and she just goes on a rage after that. And oh wow. He was already on BB's yeah, list. I was just about to say he's already on BB's yeah. list too. So yeah, he was, they, yeah. He, he got it. He's gonna get a double. And the list and and, and 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 thus the list commences. Like everybody's on that list is getting checked off now. So the most memorable death in this movie. Now let me just give you a little again, a little more background between myself and this film. Uh, when I caught this movie the first time, it was for the most memorable scene in the mm. movie. And a lot of people, a lot of people remember this. The most memorable scene in the movie, without a doubt, goes to Miss Parker over here. Damn shits. Got your ass. Oh shit. You mean kids like this? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Caught you slipping, boy. Yeah. Boy, she could yell too. I, get, I, I don't know oh, the yeah. actress's name. And Ramsey. And Ramsey. Boy, Ramsey. she's got one of the, she had one of the best yells in Hollywood. You know what? And it's that yell, like the when you're a kid and you see the effect. Now this is the scene where a lot of people call it the the, the exploding basketball head scene. Is where BB throws a basketball at our head and just explodes. I that knew this shit. one was a kid now. Yeah, that's okay. what. Man, I first saw this. And that's no, all I remember. That's the only scene I remember. And I am not lying, y'all. I am not lying. I don't. It's not. I remember this wrong. The first time I caught this movie. I was flipping channels and I stopped because she was screaming her ass off. Uh -huh. And I was like, what's wrong with her? I'm like, oh, <laughs> oh, okay. And you know what I like like about this? Like I know, listen, I know YouTube don't like violence and all this, but what I love about this effect, you can tell it's like an empty shell. Yeah, oh, absolutely. Like, like that, that hair was ceramic. Look like. Yeah, like, ain't no, ain't no teeth or jaws and no, ain't no tongue. No. It's like it was made out of cake. Yeah. <laughs> well, well, you see also like she starts screaming, then you see her yell again, and all the prosthetics are yeah, on her. Yeah. And then they do it. But it's still her, but they 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 added all this other mm. stuff. Oh, like, well, it's not even prosthetics. No, it's not about before that. It's, it's a it's a dummy. Like, look like look at this. No, no, before that. Before that. <laughs> I love yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. Yeah, that's a dummy. Yeah. <laughs> now that's the most memorable death in the movie. And I, like I said, when I caught this, I instantly fell in love with this movie when I saw that. I, I had to watch this every time it came on. But even though it's the most memorable one, <laughs> she was good, she was great. But dad is my favorite because that actor is just so goofy, man. He is. Like that actor, if he plays these roles just like you think, just, just, just like any bad actor would, man. Like he's like, so his, uh, <laughs> So he's so he's that that you know, because he was he was he was so abusive because he was drunk mm -hmm. all the time. He's one of them dudes that he he goes to sleep drunk, wakes up drunk. Yeah. You know, drunks when they wake up in movies when you get them crazy actors, they like right. <laughs> you know, it, like like they like, like woke up from a nightmare or something. 
Yeah. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Really tired going on last yeah. night. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, really? Shit, like, he, like he was just born. Was like, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Life? <laughs> Thank God. It was just a dream. So right. thirsty. Have you ever drank before in your life, man? He's like, come on, man. I don't know how you get up. Yeah. In, in bad movies, you know how drunks look at it. Like, like when they see a bottle of booze, like, yeah. ooh. <laughs> don't mind if I do. <laughs> <laughs> Don't mind if I do. Gotcha, yeah, bitch! Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fell for a like, But it's like, like, he ain't never seen a bottle before. Oh, no. like, 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 I didn't drop that. Or I can go get my own. And you, you were the only one in the house. Yeah. Who sure. you, and, and he's just like, a, oh, I can't believe my fortune that I left this <laughs> yeah, right. in your house. I must have been thinking ahead while, who, while I was drunk. Like, who, who do you think left it there? You don't remember, obviously. Right. Who, my, it must be my lucky D. But even the way he's looking, like, yeah, it's he, not a pile of cash. I mean, it's like. What are you thinking? Like, I don't don't believe it. Is it really that? His well, yeah. His mouth started watering like he was yeah. going to eat the bottle. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, where did that come from? Uh, oh, well, waste not, want not. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> it's so dad's like, no! Oh, <laughs> give me back the bottle. <laughs> it's like when they put a big roast or a ham and a cartoon and lure it. Yeah, ooh, right. ooh. Yeah. You may as well start floating yeah, doors. You shit. know, BB should have just put the bottle under a box with a stick. Yeah, 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 yeah. With a rope on it. Hey, oh, whoa. Hey. You turn that delight. Oh, a bear trap. <laughs> yeah. He still would have grabbed it. He still would have, yeah, he still would have been drinking. Oh, well, I got my booze. <laughs> Man, he. My man, he's he's so drunk that look at his chops and shit. Yeah, he's so every he's so drunk. Everything about his death is is funny, man. Like when he gets his this this his reaction to getting a, a shovel thrown at him. Watch this. Oh. Look, girl. Yeah. Oh shit. <laughs> I know, ooh, bitch. I know you. I know you didn't. <laughs> you, ain't, you ain't better get better than that, honey. <laughs> you, you miss, bitch. You gotta get up prettier in the morning. <laughs> oh. He was like, I don't believe it. Why you? <laughs> So he had a shovel thrown out. So all right, I'll give him that. But a shovel that sticks sticks to the wall. wall. Like, like I don't believe this. Yeah, I don't know. Holy God! But even his death, like his final breath, looks stupid. Like when he gets choked out. Oh boy! Like it's almost like he's thinking making funny faces is gonna save his life. <laughs> Ugh, you got me. <laughs> <laughs> and Dad is the he's the damn Freddy Krueger of the movie. Like he's got a. Couple of dream sequences in here, and they just oh, yeah. they just stupid as hell. You can't hurt me, so shut it, I don't want to be hurt. Oh. <laughs> First of all, this is very sexual in a way. Yeah, yeah this is this is the scene where they pretty much admit that he, that he rapes her, but then they go like, but it's a dream though. And yeah, you're like, oh, yeah. Anybody. No, the way he's like, like you just well, you you can make the connection. I don't have to be graphic with it. It speaks for itself. Skeet, yeah, skeet. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 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 skeet, skeet. Skeet, skeet. Yeah, you know, y'all know what I mean, man. It's just, you ain't fooling nobody, movie. You know what you're doing. Yeah, got, here, skeet, got, skeet. got both his hands and... Hold it and all, and all over her. Yeah, yeah. It's skeet, skeet, yo. Take all of it. Take all of it. <laughs> I'll get you and that little yellow robot too. They yeah, should just say that. Hey, throw some water on. You're right. Yeah. That, robot, that robot's not even a picture anymore. No, that's two off the list right there. Uh, just one more. I know y'all forgot about it. Can't forget about that gang leader. And hey, you know what? I had forgotten about it. I did too. Point. But uh, you know, lucky for BB. He works day and night. <laughs> he's just cruising the streets, just even at nighttime, just looking for people to beat up. And he's like, oh shit, it's Robot Boy. My lucky day. I've been looking to beat your ass. Oh no, you don't. I waited a long time for this. How long you Well, yeah, either way, he's been cruising the streets. Yeah, yeah. Him. But, why, hey, listen, why he's working bit? late? BB out in these streets too. <laughs> She's like, I've been waiting on your sweet and sour chicken ass. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> sweet and sour chicken ass. Yeah, yeah that, <laughs> she said that was a trap, bitch. Yeah, the last of the shadows. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> oh, don't laugh yet. <laughs> oh, you say, man, she better touch that. Exploded. Yeah, his ass floated up first too. Wait, this is the strangest shit. Like, oh, but wait, you wait, think, wait, wait, wait. No, save, save some of that. Yeah, you think that's good? You think? Oh, does that amuse you? Oh, wait, Bill, I got something for you. <laughs> it's like it's like she got a balloon go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let it go. <laughs> So you like, well, cool. BB's work is done. You know, everybody on the list is checked off. Nah, BB had to add another one. There was a, a Paul's friend. Paul's friend. He's finally. I knew it. He, I yeah, knew Paul's it. friend started freaking, man. And he said he didn't turn into a snitch. He said, "I'm going right to the cops." No, you have got a crazy man for a son, and I'm calling the cops. Now, what you say that for? What are you about? Yeah, uh, BB said the. <laughs> <"Why?"> <laughs> <laughs> Motherfucker! Told you about your snitching yeah, ass. Yeah, B yeah. BB says snitches get uh, get stitches up in this bitch. <laughs> Who the fuck you gonna tell? Who the fuck you gonna tell? <laughs> I love it. That was a swan dive. Yeah. It was graceful. Yeah. Uh, why you got some for yours? Why, why'd you let BB hear that? It was like one. Two, yeah. three steps, guy. You don't ever leave the room talking about it. I'm calling the cops. You do that <laughs> shit when you get home. It's yeah, like exactly. when they did those regular dramas in the 40s. As soon as I call the cops, I'm going to let you know, hey, what are you doing with that gun? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <It's> like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and out of Never all mind. this, so the cops finally show up when, when they don't listen to people. Because people try to tell them something going down. But, you know, they do what cops do in movies, just sitting around eating sandwiches. Okay. Tell her I'll get out there just as soon as it's humanly possible. <laughs> but, but, but you know what I will say, like they do get a lot of calls from the crazy people around LA. Miss Parker, she's always calling with some true, bullshit. True, true. Okay, yeah, fair. It's crazy bitch again. Yeah. I'm gonna, I'm gonna finish my sandwich this time. <laughs> BB went down like you thought he'd go down, or she'd go down, uh, like earlier, running towards somebody with a gun. <laughs> With some crab trucks. Oh shit. Gonna put that Vulcan pitch on yeah, yeah. <laughs> Stop! Oh. Yeah, man. Uh, so after <laughs> all of this, they got so they shot her. She's dead. She's down. She's gone. You would think after all of this, three people dead, possibly four, kidnapping a dead body, reanimating dead bodies. You know, you, you would you would think that Paul would be in jail. Or no. suffering some uh, sort of consequences. But he should be in jail. They'd be yeah. like, you, you did all this. Mm -hmm. He should be somewhere. But no, they don't arrest him. So what is it? You know, they this just leaves his crazy ass to go back and try to bring her back to life again. Like, I don't know how this kid gets around. Like, she's in the morgue. Somehow he, his ass sneaks in there in the middle of the night. Hey, Sam, we're going to get you out of here. And this he, time. And it's a winner, boy. So, ain't no, Paul is left again, left to his own devices to do crazy shit, to do stuff he shouldn't be doing. And nobody's stopping him. And finally, that's when BB said, "Well, goddamn it, if ain't no if ain't no one else gonna do it, I'll do it myself." She sacrificed. Oh, now what the hell happens here? Don't ask me, because oh I don't God. know. I'm gonna let you know ahead of time. Don't ask me. I don't know. I don't know how. I don't know why. How a damn anime robot got up in that body. Right. Because she was, all she had was a chip in her head. Right. Now how that produced this right here, this damn Power Rangers villain, I don't know. Come with me, Paul. No. <laughs> Baby. <laughs> what did she say? BB. That's it? BB. BB oh. loves you or something. Oh, shit? but wait a minute. Oh, wait, there's more. She, but wait, there's more. You know, they don't want you to... They don't want you to, to, to walk away all sad and everything. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, because that's really, I'm sorry, so it would bum me out. Yeah, like. no, they, they, don't, they don't want you to be bummed out, Billy. So, so, so BB, she said, before I go, I'm gonna leave you with the BB remix. Oh, yeah. That fucking bass. Yeah, you, you, you motherfuckers ready? Oh, yeah. God damn it, yeah. That's that Seinfeld bass. 
<laughs> well, there you go, people. Deadly friend. Oof. Deadly friend, boy. Deadly friend. Oh, make so it, did, make it me, 1.0. <laughs> let me ask you this. All right, so. Make <laughs> Did Chrissy Swanson, did, 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 what's her name, Sam? Yeah. Sam, yeah. Did her part of her brain go, all right, I got to kill myself? Or was it BB? Who knows? Yeah. No, I was just wondering. I don't know. No, I, don't know. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I wish yeah, I had an answer. They, they really they don't delineate oh, okay. that. Right.